Hello everyone, I'm Jamie and welcome to Joy Homestead. Today I'm going to be starting onion seeds. So here everything I have ready to go. I have my seeds. Today I'm going to be planting three varieties. A candy onion, which is intermediate day and I planted this last year. Scout onion, which is another intermediate day. And Texas early grano, it's not for my area, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I have my seed start tray and in it I already have some cells that are lightly packed with potting soil. I'm using the ProMix potting soil. It was already pre-moistened just to make things easier. And what I went through and did is took some tape and a Sharpie and wrote the variety and today's date as the start date. And then I have a little bit extra potting soil here because um, I'm going to need that to top off each cell once the seeds are there. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the candy onions. Now onion seeds are fairly small um, and I'm going to do kind of some intensive seed starts here. So each one of these cells I'm going to put, I don't know, let's say 20 to 30 seeds. What I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see this, but they are itty bitty, whoop, dropped one. So I'm going to take these seeds and just scatter them around each cell. So this is the candy onion variety. And the great thing about onions is that when you go to transplant them into the ground, their roots don't really mind if they're bothered. So you can take this, this root ball, just kind of shimmy it a little bit, and you can pull out each individual onion plant. So now, onto the next cell. There we go. Now this potting soil I'm using is a potting soil, not a seed start mix. So when I was pre-moistening it, um, I noticed that there were lots of kind of bigger wood chunks and rocks and things like that, which is what you're gonna get with, um, with a potting soil rather than the seed start mix, because the seed start mix is basically like peat moss and cocoa core. It's, it's very light and fluffy. Okay. So candy onions, there I have three cells now with the onion seeds just scattered on the top. The next variety I'm going to plant are the scout onions, another intermediate day. Excited about this just to try something new. So these seeds. Now the area that I have in my garden for these is actually on the outside of the main vegetable garden. Last year I had these in the main garden and it's not that it was an issue, it's just that I wanna kind of maximize that space for the, the bigger vegetables, for my tomato plants and my bush beans and things like that. So there we go, just sprinkling the seeds right on top a few more make sure I have the right variety so we'll close in there. And once again I am putting this pretty pretty heavy in each so okay and the final variety is the Texas early grano I have no idea if this is gonna work because I'm here in Virginia and um, I am technically zone 7A, but I follow guidelines for 6B and 7A just because sometimes it's a little cooler here in the spring than what most 7A first and last frost dates are. This is the Texas variety. Just gonna sprinkle these around. Itty bitty little onion seeds. Now it's interesting, I'm I am a teacher, I teach high school students, and I was mentioning onion seeds and they're like Onions have seeds? <laughs> it's kind of funny because you don't think about it. You always see the bulb, you don't see the seed. And that they're these tiny little black seeds. 
Okay, so all seeds are in. Make sure I've closed up my seed packs. Now what I'm gonna do is take what's left of this potting soil that's already pre-moistened, and I'm just going to lightly cover each cell with this mix. See, got some sticks in there. So just putting enough to barely cover it. So that's the first of the candy cells. Apologize if you hear any dogs moving around or barking. They are upstairs with my husband so that they don't bother me while I'm filming. Um, my older dog, Iggy, she when she walks, it sounds like she's tap dancing. <laughs> so you will definitely uh, hear her walking around. So just covering with a very thin layer up this potting mix. And once again, this potting mix was pre-moistened. Um, and the reason for that was that I'm going to bottom water this. I'm not going to top water. So when you bottom water, that means that you pour your water into your tray and through the holes at the bottom of each of the cells, the, the pots, um, it will absorb the water up, which is great because it makes the roots of the plant want to go down deeper to get the water, to get their hydration and it makes them bigger, stronger plants. Now I do have a grow light set up in one of the rooms in the house. I have your standard utility shelves, the metal shelves you can get from Lowe's or Home Depot. I think even Walmart has them. And I do have some grow lights set up on those. So once these have germinated, then I will set them on a timer with the lights. Um, I think last year I started them at 12 hours and then increased it to 14 hours after a little while. I also have an oscillating fan that I have blowing on my seed starts um, to kind of mimic the wind, just to make them a little bit better. Okay, that is it for planting my seed starts. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some water in this tray and then add it to my grow lights. That's it.